Hello everybody, I am Aaron, I'm a Brit living in the UK right now, and anyone who knows anything about the current economy knows that everything is going down the shitter. Thanks UK. Anyway, I'm currently working on a game in my free time. I am currently a software developer and... I mean... Yeah. So, what I'm currently working on currently is a... Well, here's the plan. See if it properly focuses. There we are, finally focused it. Uh, I'm currently working on an asset pack of stone assets, which are inspired by Macon stone texture, which I'll hopefully put an example of here. So my plan is currently is to actually get the stone assets sorted out, then to make an itch.io page for them, get a level example for it in my game, make a trailer for this asset pack, make a blog post, make a reddit post on r slash r slash material maker, make a twitter post and I didn't put it here, but also a youtube video which is going to be this one, this one right here. Um, so I thought I'll go through my process of making, making stone textures. All right, but now I've decided that I'm just going to leave the textures as they are right now. I think I have a good enough variety of textures. Like I've got, how many is there? Like, uh, three times, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, three by ten. So I think 30 different textures available currently. Um, and that's, well, for each one of these, I can multiply it by 30. That's six times 30. So that's, um, 180 textures already so far. And that's not even the full collection of uh, different color schemes that I want to have. I want to have, um, like, I want to have at least three different colors. Um, so you have a like, variation available for different, you know, for contrast, pretty much. So I'm going through the process of right now setting it up into different files the stone to go white, stone to go red gray, light gray, and so on, and then um, also got to rewrite all these exports for them. Uh, but once that's all done, I'll join back with you and we'll see what the textures look like. Right, so I've gone ahead and export all the different color variations now. So, let me go ahead and take a look at how many there are. 552. Though that's including um, a handful of like material textures or material, Ecuador material files. So we can ignore some of those, but still at the very end, it's over 500, which is uh, quite nice, and we can probably use that later on when we get around to itch.io storefront page setting up. So this is what all the different um, like color schemes look like. So we have our like, black colors, we have our light blue colors, darker blue colors, um, like that, darker black colors, or crimsons, or reds. Grayish or lighter colors like this. I'm actually pretty pleased about how, what we have so far. So, looking here, it looks like we actually have 532 different textures, which is pretty interesting. Anyway, next up, uh, so we've gone ahead and got the stone asset sorted out. If you guys remember this, got the stone asset sorted out. Next up, we're gonna get to have an itch.io page. So let's get that sorted. Okay, so the first thing I've noticed when uh, setting up a itch.io storefront is, uh, well, I can set up a banner. Uh, but I haven't actually set that up yet. Uh, I know the banner width is supposed to be 960 pixels, uh, height being up to me, and also set up a thumbnail. So I've stopped for a moment to think and going back to my original plan, um, there was this point here about making a level example for the game where the, where the let's see if it even focuses anyway yeah level example for the game um i'm gonna go ahead and get a level set up and then we can go ahead and make a banner hey everybody so they hate trench boom they hit a um well a quake level editor but i'm using this in combination with something called a codot or goro so, I'm going to first off make a little uh, level. I've got a little plan, like just a very basic hallway kind of level, and like set up in space or something with like floating rocks and whatnot. 
just to uh, demonstrate it really. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. Let's check it out. So they're here they're in game. Um I think it looks pretty good. The black show a bit black, like too black for my liking. But I think it is pretty good in general. This is only looks like white and black. I'm probably going to get some uh, screenshots of what it looks like for other texture search. Uh this will be for set up an itch.io thing, so I'm probably just gonna uh get a screenshot here, I think. So uh cool. Okay. okay. That looks pretty good to me. Um, we'll get some with other colors, and then we'll start putting them together into HIO screenshots. And we're back. Okay, so I finally got around to actually set up some lighting for this. And wow, I'm actually kind of impressed. I also fixed up the um, texture for the Falconut emblems. Uh, but I'm actually kind of impressed. I'm surprised I didn't realize it would actually turn out this well. So I'm really happy about that. One thing it reminds me of is Quake 3. Any people who play Quake 3 probably remember uh, campgrounds and stuff like that. They are textures which are like really strange and like big lighting on the textures kind of like this. And it just reminds me of that. It's very cool. Anyway, um, that's what it looks like with lighting now. And that will make for much snappier images. It? So, we'll get into how the HIO page now looks. And we're back. Okay, so I actually went ahead and set up all the itch.io stuff. So let's take a look at it, okay? Uh, so this is actually my page. I've spent a bit of time setting up, make it look a lot nicer than how it did before. So now I actually list some information. Um, all I linked to at the moment is just like my website. So here, uh, I also linked to my Box slash the store, uh, which actually something came in the post earlier today, which is the proof copy of it. So I'm hoping to check everything out on that. Um, and then also my YouTube channel, which is nice. And then also my Twitter. I don't know if I can add my Reddit account or anything like that, but I'll look into that later on. So this doesn't actually show the project with draft. Um, where is it? Is it dashboard? It's dashboard. Okay, so it's down here. So you will notice the first thing. I spent a bit of time setting up like a nice little uh, thumbnail. So let's zoom right in. A nice little um, GIF thumbnail. So hopefully that is... It attracts more attention, I hope. Um, then if I click into it, I decided to make the page actually use the textures. Because I thought that would make it much... Like, you can see a demonstration of it. You go into the page, you see the textures in use. That's what I wanted to do. Um, a just like right out, right out the gate, the um, the texture is being used in a example level. Um, and then also my inspiration, what it has, and then you know the different variations are. And then also like an example look if you want to see all the different textures. Um, and a whole bunch of green on the side. So I think so far it looks actually pretty promising. Um, the one thing though is currently it's a Friday and you guys will probably remember this big list of stuff. I actually had to think about it for a second and I realized Screenshot Saturday is on Saturdays. So I could probably post a link to this kind of stuff and just shout around everywhere. So my hope is to get this whole video sorted out or tomorrow. I think a quarter actually get it all done. Um, is there anything I'm missing? I don't think there's anything I'm missing. So that means uh, go check 
go check it out. Oh man, okay, go check it out. There will be a link in the description, and I don't think I'm missing anything. Okay, hopefully the video is decent, and hopefully it's not terrible. So, uh.